Roy Hodgson made an immediate impact at, at West Brom when he arrived last season. Can he perpetuate that and turn West Brom into the new Fulham? Well, that's the, the obvious question. And I think that's the, 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 the position that the West Brom supporters find themselves in, is wondering uh, whether their board are going to, to back Hodgson to make that happen. Because as things stand, I mean, Hodgson did an unbelievable job. When he took over there, I think they would have just been happy with survival. And West Brom actually finished 11th. Um, so they're looking at a situation where there has to be a bit more investment. But traditionally, West Brom pride themselves on actually being an extremely well-run, sensible club. Jeremy Peace is not a man that wants to spend silly money on, on salaries uh, or, or is going to go for kind of marquee signings. Um, not that in a way that's what, what the way that Hodgson has particularly operated. But if they want to take that, that next step, the question is, are West Brom... Have they got the bottle, if you like, to really go for it, to try and do what Fulham did and get to, to Europe and so on? Or are they, are they going to play safe, keep within their financial constraints and um, just concentrate on, on making sure that they uh, avoid relegation? And although looking around them, I think they probably feel there's enough uh, teams that are going to be in perhaps slightly bigger trouble so that um, I think they're fairly hopeful that they won't be in the, in the bottom three. Although looking around them, they're probably quite confident because of the amount of, of, of uh, teams around them that they'd hope to think they can finish above, that they're going to avoid being in the bottom three. Uh, West Brom have never actually had uh, two consecutive years where they've stayed up in the Premier League. Um, so that would be a, a big aim and a big milestone if they can do that. They stayed up under Brian Robson and then the next season... Um, they were in the Premier League but couldn't sustain it. So I think they'll be really hopeful to make... That will be considered progress for a start, put it that way. But it's how much progress can they make. One thing that Hodgson certainly did was he, he solidified the defence a little when he, when he came because they had been conceding a lot of goals, especially from set pieces. He, he cut that out. And in terms of scoring goals, Peter Odenwingy was, was superb for them last season. Uh, can he continue that? And if he doesn't, do they, do they have enough other people to, to chip in with goals? Well, I think um, it's been uh, uh, pretty obvious that, that Roy Hodgson's main targets have been Shane Long, who he's been trying very hard to get, um, and also Ben Foster. Uh, they've let Carson go, which I don't think there's been an awful massive amount of weeping over because um, he's always been a little bit, little bit erratic, but they definitely want to reinforce in those key areas at the front and back of the team. But I think, and by the same token, you're right about Odin Wingi, they're really, really keen to make sure they keep a hold of him because he was a bargain at four million, um, more or less. And uh, I think they need to make sure that he's the main man because he, he, I think he will. There's no reason why he won't score goals again next season. So where do you see them finishing? Um, I think uh, safe in mid-table, but not, not necessarily 11th again. We'll see.